Hi, seventh grade. It's Mrs. Martin with your book talk. Just a few things about the book talk today. Uh, one being that these titles are just meant to give you some ideas to add to your reading list. I know that every book that I share today may not be on the shelf for you ready to check out. So I hope that you won't get discouraged or frustrated if that is the case. Um, you know, if there's a book that you're wanting and it is not there, please do make a note of it and write it down in your notebook uh, or on your iPad. Plan to place a hold on the book if it's something that you'd like to check out immediately, um, and we'll try to get that to you as soon as we can. Otherwise, you know, this is just meant to give you ideas about genres that you might want to read or authors that you might want to take a look at as well. On each slide, just some reminders about how I do these book talks. There will be the cover of the book and the title and author, as well as some pictures, um, sometimes book trailers to give you ideas about what the book is about. And then in the top right corner, there will be the indication of the genre so that you know where to find it if you go to look on our shelves. Let's go ahead and get started. The first book I'm sharing today is Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner, and it is a graphic novel. In this story, it's the beginning of the new school year. AJ's our main character, and he feels like everyone is changing except for him. I don't know if any of you can relate to that, but I know for a lot of middle school students, it often feels that way at the beginning of a school year. You know, you come back, maybe other people have had seemingly pretty exciting summer adventures, and to you, maybe it feels like, eh, I don't know, my summer was okay, but nothing too great. That's how AJ's feeling. And he's also feeling like his crush Nia is paying zero attention to him. The big problem in this story is that Nia only has eyes for vampires. She only wants to date a vampire. Well, the problem is AJ isn't one. AJ and Nia, though, are paired up for a group project where they're going to research Transylvania, and he thinks this could be his big chance. He can dress up like the vampire of her dreams. Well, things get even more complicated, and I'll let you read the graphic novel to find out why. Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner, uh, a really fun read. Our second one in fantasy is the first of a series, Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Alexis has what she feels to be a pretty dysfunctional life as a high schooler. Friends aren't getting along, uh, her parents' marriage is kind of falling apart, and her doll crazy 12-year-old sister is driving her crazy. Uh, things are though not just driving her crazy and being stressful, it seems like life is becoming actually a little bit dangerous. Casey, Alexis's younger sister, is acting stranger than ever before. It's not that Casey is just, you know, kind of into dolls. It's that she's using old-fashioned language, you know, words that people wouldn't use today. Um, she loses track of chunks of time. She, you know, seemingly has conversations that she forgets about, and uh, even her eyes seem to change colors um, at different points. Well, their old house that they live in seems to be changing as well. Doors open and close by themselves. Sometimes there's water boiling on the stove when no one's been in the kitchen for hours. Um, weird stuff. Alexis wants to think it's all in her head, but the more and more that continues to happen, both with the house and with her sister, um, she wonders if Casey maybe is not uh, her sister exactly anymore. If you like a story that brings in that um, supernatural aspect, check out Bad Girls Don't Die. It's perfect for this time of year. For something on the lighter, funnier, quicker read side, Wonkenstein by Obert Skye is great. Uh, you know, if you've read every single Diary of a Wimpy Kid, if you've read all the Dogman and Big Nate books back in elementary school, this is a, a fun series to take a look at, and I'm going to show you the trailer to learn more. Grammarly can help you write quickly and confidently, so you, you never have to slow down at work. Instant
So if you like a, a funny story, um, again, with lots of those illustrations, similar to Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh, this is about a kid whose room, uh, his closet, I guess, uh, especially, is such a giant mess that actually a creature has been created from that mess. And they go on these absolutely bizarre adventures. The creature at first thinks that uh, he's scary, and of course that's just not the case. Um, if you like that kind of book, uh, take a look in the humor section under SKY for Sky. Back to something on the spooky side, The Collector by K.R. Alexander. I really don't think I could book talk this one any better than the trailer does. And so once again, I'm going to show you the video. Um, K.R. Alexander, by the way, has written lots of other terrific, creepy reads. And if this one's not on the shelf, but you're looking for something else, take a look at any of them. They are absolutely eerie. When we moved in with Grandma Jeannie, something just didn't feel right. And she had these rules. One, never leave your windows open after dark. Two, no dolls in the house. And three, never, ever, Go near the house in the woods. Josie. Look for the collector at your <laughs> Scholastic Book Fair. It's looking for you. Ooh, that one always gives me the creeps. And I'm realizing I had two books today that had something to do with dolls. Sorry about that. Uh, but again, if you're looking for a read that's going to give you the creeps, I would absolutely recommend The Collector or any of Alexander's books. Check them out in the mystery section. Back to something lighthearted, The Misadventures of Max Crumbly. Uh, this is book one in the series. Again, in sort of that um, wimpy kid or dork diaries setup, if you're just looking for something fun and funny, um, poor Max. He is just one of those kids that tends to get bullied, and he's been stuffed in his locker for the second time in one day. Um, he dreamed of being a superhero um, when he came to middle school. He'd been homeschooled for um, seven years, and, you know, starting up here in, uh, I think in seventh grade maybe, or eighth grade. Anyway, he dreamed that he was going to, you know, be this kind of great uh, hero at his school, and unfortunately it's been the exact opposite. And he's ended up, after Doug the Thug discovered, uh, Max is quite the, quite the victim and can be somebody who can be bullied and pushed around. Uh, poor kid. Well, Max ends up getting stuck in his locker again. And, oh, shoot, everyone has left for a three-day weekend with Max trapped inside his locker. Luckily, because this is fiction, uh, Max escapes through not the front of his locker, but the back and manages to have this incredible adventure that involves him, um, well, coming across these criminals who are trying to steal things, and he becomes this incredible hero. And this is just book one in the adventures that he has. He really is sort of this accidental hero. It's not like he has superpowers. It's not like he um, really knows what he's doing. He kind of stumbles into being a hero. It, it just makes it really, really funny. And once again, has those illustrations um, that just bring the story to life. Rachel Russell is our author here, so you'd look under R-U-S in humor for these great books. And one last one to share with you in adventure. Um, this is by P.J. Peterson and is called Wild River. This is the story of two brothers who have decided to go out on an adventure. Um, Ryan agrees to go on this trip with his brother. It's just a day trip, uh, or maybe it is an overnight, actually. They're going to go camping, I guess. And um, Tanner, uh, Ryan's older brother, has done this before. He's done a lot of camping. He's done a lot of outdoors things. Um, Tanner convinces Ryan, this is no big deal. I know exactly what to do. I know how to go into the, you know, white water rapids. Um, you know, we can do our our kayaking, we can do our camping, this is no, no problem because I have experience. Um, Ryan's pretty reluctant about it because Ryan's kind of an indoor kid, you know, he would prefer to play video games and eat snacks and, you know, sit inside all day, really. 
Uh, but he does agree to go because Tanner convinces him that it's not going to be um, anything too tough and that he knows what to do. Well, the problem is Tanner gets badly hurt when they are out there. And all of a sudden, Ryan has to be the one to not only take care of them while they're there, but get them safely home. And this adventure becomes even more adventurous because of some of the problems that crop up. This is a very fast read and one that I think you'll really enjoy because of the things that these boys um, are put through out in the great outdoors. Wild River by P.J. Peterson, you can find that in Adventure. I hope one of the books I shared today maybe is something you'd enjoy picking up or an author you'd like to look for. Uh, if nothing else, maybe a genre that sounds like uh, one that you'd want to take a look at. Um, we are here in the library, of course, to help you find something great to read. So stop down and, and uh, see us. We'd love to help you out. Thanks so much for your attention and happy reading.